All right, so now we're back in Unreal Engine, and I'm gonna show you guys how I will import or find the textures again and switch them out. So we have a face right here. So we have our uh, blueprint placed and everything. So click on the face, then click on the little magnifying glass. And that's the head. So we're going to go to face face color again. Um, if, you want, if you want to make double check, you can always go to this material. Okay, click on the magnifying glass after going into the skeletal mesh viewer. Double click this. And scrolling down, you'll see that the, the main color is right here. Nice. Okay. Yep. And you just, uh, you just click on the little magnifying glass here. So we're just gonna switch this out with our of our um, modified sepsis painter uh, textures. All right, so in here we have um, some of the ones I made for the months, uh, the zombie months here. It's um, it's not really meant for him, but it's something I already have. Let's find that material again. And this is a material instance, so it's not um, the master material or anything. So you'll see it changes um, instantly. So you just grab the color, stick in here. And as you see, um, all of MetaHumans kind of share a similar UV setup, which makes sense. All right. And then the normal map is this first one right here. And then we have the occlusion rough disk metallic. Uh, let's see. So I don't think this. Um, actually, let's double check. So this is the one that's currently there. Uh, let's, let's see. So it's the green channel that has the roughness. And let's just double check ours to make sure it's in the correct channel. Just pressing the back button to go to back over. And let's see. Looks pretty good. Yeah, so red with an um, ambient occlusion, roughness, then metallic. Um, yeah. So we're, we're all good here. Just leave these default. And yeah, that should be correct. Nice. And that's how you make a uh, custom material for your character. Or a modified uh, texture to slot into the materials for your metahuman. Uh, if you want to go more advanced, you can um, look at all the um, like the blend shapes and modify these as well. Uh, you should be able to just um, import these guys into Substance Painter and export them out afterwards, since um, don't play too much of the things change besides some of the expressions. Cool. Alright, one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, so the norm map, we actually didn't really mess with it too much in Substance Painter, so you don't actually have to re-import and change these out too much. 
Um, but if you did do something like that Frankenstein, like the normal stuff, um, like with the divots and the cuts and everything, you can actually just merge um, the current normal map with the new one if you're planning on doing the blend shapes as well. Um, yeah, there should be a substance uh, blend option.